Hello everyone and welcome to a very quick tutorial on caching and why it's important to cache. So I'm going to just create a, a new C-sharp script here. I'll call it no caching and I'll drop it onto the main camera. Open it up. And what I'm going to do is to uh, create a for loop and then each iteration find the directional light access a, access its intensity and set it to one so i'll do four and int i equal to zero i less than one thousand i plus plus and then just very simply uh, the big one game object dot find directional light dot get component and it's going to be the light and no I'm not going page down dot intensity is equal to one all right so every frame I'm gonna find the directional light set its intensity to one and do this a thousand times each frame so there's quite a lot of uh, overhead with that so I'm gonna add a, a tab called profiler and uh, let me just check, I attached it, yes, hit play. All right, let it run for a few frames. Okay, that's enough. And under behavior update, there I, there I can see uh, how much overhead uh, my no caching script is creating. This is the CPU usage. And if I just slide this around, I can see uh, well how much in milliseconds that is. All right, well, Obviously, that doesn't tell me very much at the moment. What I need to do is create another script uh, which is cached or partially caching and see how that performs uh, in comparison. All right, so I'm going to make another C -sharp script and I'm going to call this one partial uh, caching. I'll also drop it onto the main camera, open it up. And this time I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to create a private variable, a game object of type game object, and I'm going to call this one directional light. And in the start function, I'm going to find it there. So directional light is equal to game object dot find, and it'll be the directional light. Okay. And then in the update function, I will then do again the for loop or int i is equal to a zero i plus than one thousand i plus plus okay and then i'm going to say directional light dot get comp not get type dot get component light dot intensity is equal to one all right so now this one uh, what's happening here instead i've cached the game object directional light I've stored a reference to the game object itself and then each um, frame I'm iterating a thousand times and accessing the component each time and then setting the intensity uh, to one so let's see how that performs so I'll just clear this hit play all right I can stop it and then just go through it expand behavior update and have a look at that so you can see that there's already a, there's a huge difference in uh, performance in cpu usage so you can see that uh, partial caching uh, really drops uh, the cpu usage down a lot so you can already see why it is important to cache all right so that's uh, one done so now i'm going to make another script C sharp script and well it's probably a wrong name but I'll just call it full caching and open it up and this time I'm gonna store a reference to the light component itself so private light um, directional light I guess and then I'll call it uh, well I'll find it so directional light is equal to game object dot find directional light dot get component light all right and now an update I'll access that for int 
i is equal to zero i less than one thousand and i plus plus. Uh, then I will just simply say directional light on intensity is equal to one. All right. So let's see how that does. Have I attached it? No, I haven't. So I'll drop it in and clear this. Okay, that's enough. Expand the behavior update and just slide it about. And yep, you can see already that full caching is uh, the cheapest. So by going directly to the component, so even get component, even the um, uh, instruction get component, even that has a small overhead, it's not that much, but uh, by getting rid of that, uh, we do uh, save on performance just a little bit. It is, it is just noticeable, like you can see pretty much. So that's pretty much it. So that's why you do caching. Now, of course, you wouldn't normally be uh, iterating a thousand times in the update. Uh, but if you do have a game which is uh, like a, a simulation type, then you will have a lot of data accessing. Like you'll have lists of information and you'll be going through the lists and accessing a lot of information. So that's where if you're doing that sort of thing, uh, and this is what I did for Guild Commander anyway. Yeah, that's where I have a... Uh, a uh, cached game object or cached component and then it makes uh, the script a lot faster and when you have a lot of that happening then you can avoid a lot of slowdown that way all right anyway so that's it for this quick tutorial uh, thanks for watching